The opposition members of the National Assembly today supported a motion put forward by the government for the ratification of the arms trade theory. But the opposition support did not come without a few concerns being highlighted for the government to ensure that the correct thing is done to prevent the circulation of illicit firearms coming into the country. Mr. Speaker, this is an important, this is an important motion which APNU supports. But we must bemoan government attitude in making a step forward and not following through with the correct action. The order, it will not be able to maintain the arms trade treaty. It is time that we demonstrate by our action that we do have the political will to give meaning to treaties to which we are signatories. We have death squads in Guyana. No more should we have the voluntary admission and I would say the condonation of elements linked to the narco-criminal trade, making disclosure that they work to help protect a government of this country. No more should we, because that is an indictment and a condemnation of the use of arms, small or big. And therefore, our commitment to international law must not simply be nominal, must not simply be an act for a photo opportunity, but it must be meant to live those acts to which we commit ourselves. The motion was placed before the House after Guyana signed the United Nations Global Arms Trade Treaty on the 3rd of this month. Foreign Affairs Minister Carlene Rodrigues Burkett said the motion will show Guyana's commitment to the international and regional peace, security and stability and reducing human suffering due to illegal small arms. It is a fact that the vast majority adversely affected by armed conflict and other forms of violence are civilians. The treaty recognizes this in addition to the security, social, and economic uh, human and humanitarian consequences of the illicit and unregulated trade of conventional arms. It also recognizes, Mr. Speaker, the challenges that victims face and their need for care, physical rehabilitation, and social and economic inclusion. The Arms Trade Treaty seeks to establish the highest possible common international standards for regulating or improving the regulation of international trade in conventional arms and to prevent and eradicate illicit trade and its diversion. Earlier this year, the current administration couldn't get domestic arms control legislation past the opposition. The lack of support resulted in the amendments being blocked on the grounds that the Home Affairs Minister is unfit to lead the security sector.